Welcome back to our channel. The story today is about how two barren princesses became happy again. Everywhere was filled with the talking point about the barrenness of the princes. Like a rain shower, the talking point was everywhere. The kingdom's two princesses were barren. From young men and women, the story was, the princesses were barren. Once upon a time, in the kingdom of Eldoria, there lived two princes, Alexander and Julian. They were born into a world of opulence and privilege, destined to carry on the royal bloodline and ensure the prosperity of their kingdom for generations to come. As the years passed, the people of Eldoria eagerly awaited the news of the princes finding their destined princesses and starting their own families. However, fate had a different plan in store for them. A mysterious curse had befallen the royal family, rendering both Alexander and Julian barren for life. The news of the prince's infertility spread like wildfire throughout the kingdom, shrouding the land in an air of sorrow and uncertainty. The people wondered what this meant for the future of Eldoria, who would take the throne once the current king passed away. The princes, burdened by the weight of their condition, were devastated. They felt as if they had failed their kingdom and their lineage. Days turned into nights as they searched for answers, seeking the guidance of healers, wise men, and scholars from far and wide. One day, a wise old sage arrived at the palace, claiming to possess the knowledge of the curse that had afflicted the royal family. He revealed that the curse had been cast upon the kingdom by a vengeful sorceress, seeking retribution for a perceived injustice committed by a long-forgotten king. According to the sage, the curse could only be broken if the princes embarked on a perilous quest to retrieve a magical artifact hidden deep within the Forbidden Forest. This artifact held the power to lift the curse and restore the fertility of the princes. With newfound hope, Alexander and Julian set off on their journey, traversing dense forests, crossing treacherous rivers, and facing formidable challenges. They encountered mythical creatures, overcame dangerous obstacles, and tested the limits of their courage and determination. As they delved deeper into the heart of the Forbidden Forest, they stumbled upon an ancient shrine. Illuminated by a beam of ethereal light, they found the long-lost artifact they sought, a golden chalice known as the Chalice of Life. With trembling hands, they retrieved the chalice and returned to the kingdom, hope swirling in their hearts. The entire kingdom gathered in anticipation as the princes stood before the people, ready to break the curse that had plagued their family for so long. In a grand ceremony, the princes drank from the chalice of life, their eyes filled with a mixture of trepidation and anticipation. As the liquid touched their lips, a surge of energy coursed through their veins, filling them with renewed vitality. Days turned into weeks and weeks into months as the kingdom eagerly awaited the news. And then, in a joyous revelation, it was announced that the curse had been broken. The princes had been blessed with the gift of fertility, and the future of Eldoria seemed brighter than ever. Alexander and Julian married their true loves, and soon the kingdom was blessed with the laughter and cries of royal offspring. The people celebrated, knowing that the curse had been lifted, and the royal bloodline would continue to thrive. And so the prince's journey of hardship and perseverance taught them the value of hope, courage, and the enduring power of love. Their tale became a legend, passed down through generations, a reminder that even in the face of adversity, one can find a way to overcome and create a brighter future. This story demonstrates that if our lives will change others, we must be positive and resilient. Thank you for watching. God bless you.